Wait, what the hell? Calm down, Holiday. It's only in consideration. What, in consideration you might kill Rex? <sighs> calm down, Holiday. How the hell am I supposed to calm down? Six, do something. What, me? Yeah, you. Tell them why they can't kill Rex. The hell am I supposed to do? I don't know, but we have to do something before... Dr. Holiday. My apologies, sir. It's fine. You're excused this time. But next time this happens, you're out of here. You understand? Yes, sir. Alright, good. Now that we have all this under control, let's get down to business. As you may have already figured out, this is Azmuth. And I've known him for pretty much half my life already. Well, except I haven't seen him in a couple of years because he's one lonely ass bitch. Alright, fuck you too. And as Kevin already knows, um, but I need to explain to the three of you. Well, technically two of you and a monkey. Wait, a monkey? Wait, what the? Kevin, why is there a monkey in the room? Well, it's because apparently this monkey holds some sentimental value to Rex, so... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna question it. Honestly, most things in our lives, yeah, you be, it's best not to question it. Anyways, uh, monkey weirdness aside, it's time you guys know. Know what, exactly, Mr. White? Know about the story and the downfall of Ben Tennyson. A man who was once, uh, my cousin. And a man who used to be a friend to many. Wait, Ben? Like, the Ben that's in the chamber? Well, off a of technicality. Off a of technicality, yes, but also no. In this presentation, you guys will learn about the history of nanites and how they came to be and how it all relates back to Rex and Ben. And the reason why we have to... <laughs> why we have to... The reason why we have to sacrifice a... Rex. To not just save my cousin, but to potentially find a cure to the nanite pandemic. I can feel it somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting there's a love that fits so perfect it's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me It's strange Well, that's that. The story of everything. About Ben, about how nanites were made, and the reason why Providence was formed. To find a cure for this disease and to make up for my past mistakes with my cousin. Do any of you have any questions at all? So let me get this straight. So the guy's name was Ben Tennyson, and he had a 10 on his shirt. Was that literally the only thing you found weird throughout the entire presentation? Not the fact that aliens exist, or the fact that this entire company was built for the sole research of finding a cure to a disease they caused themselves. Does anybody have any questions that are not stupid? Actually, I got a couple. So, exactly, what you're telling us is that there was once a device that was able to turn its bearer into any species across the universe. 
Well, in theory, yes, but that species would have to not be too similar to the original species. And it was that device that exploded. And because of that b built up all energy and I mean, honestly, I don't completely understand it since I just learned about this. But it was all that built up energy that exploded and created nanites. And is the reason why people are afraid to leave their homes, afraid to go to work or school, afraid that they're going to transform into evos, which are technically mutations of aliens and humans. I could tell you're a smart guy, but that was mostly correct. The, the, the only exceptions is that the Omnitrix, my Omnitrix, didn't technically create nanites. It only released the nanites within the Omnitrix, because I used these nanites, or I don't know why you guys call them nanites, but they're technically microbots, but the microbots technically were the things changing Ben into aliens. And how were you able to do all this? Trust me. My intellect is beyond your understanding. Alright, besides that, does anybody have any other questions that need to be answered? Alright, good. Now, back to the matter at hand. The reason why all of you are here. Whether or not we're gonna fuse Ben and Rex together. And I know a lot of you are gonna... <sighs> have mixed feelings about this. And trust me, I do too. But it's not my decision to decide their fate. Wait, but Jay, then how are we going to decide? Again, as I said, it, it's not up to me to decide. I'm leaving it up to Azmuth, the creator of the Omnitrix, and the technical father of both the new version of Ben 2.0 and Rex. And whatever he decides, he will have the full support of Providence. And he already told me what he decided, but Azmuth, why don't you tell everybody else your decision or what you want to do? Wait, so it's all up to... To him to decide. Their fate. Yes. Since they are my inventions, I technically have the right to decide what happens to them. God damn it. And whether any of you accept my decision is not up to any of you, since they are my creations. And whether or not any of you have any attachment or friendships with any of them, it is my decision that I will fuse together Ben and Rex once more. And the process will be happening tomorrow, early morning, because I have to get back to Primus as soon as possible. I've been trapped down there for fucking 15 years for God's sake, so you know, they kind of need me. Should I be glad I'm getting my friend back? Or should I be sad that I'm, I'm technically helping commit a murder? Rex, I'm sorry I did all I can do. I... <sighs> Rex... Damn it. Well, if anybody needs me, I will be heading downstairs to start warming up the machine for tomorrow morning. I'll see you all there. And before any of you call me a cold, heartless being, let me just tell you, I'm sorry if any of you had any attachment to any of them. But remember, they're both just machines. They can't age, and even though they have a conscious mind, they're not technically living things. Just remember that. And plus, anyways, I think I'm doing this world a favor. Because those two will end up doing more harm to this world than good. I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, same here, Kev. But anyways, holiday six, monkey, you two can head down to your quarters and get some rest. You three are definitely going to need it in the morning. And I'm sorry I couldn't do more. Again, as I said, they're his creations, and he can decide what to do with them. Alright, sir. I'll, I'll see you all in the morning. I have to admit, even though the kid can be annoying sometimes, yeah, I, I, I still see him as a, a son, I, I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is... What I'm trying to say is... 
<laughs> Rex. <laughs> Aren't you gonna follow him, Holiday? Yeah, of course, sir. All right, Bobo, time to go home. Wait, wait, where did you go? All right, motherfuckers, hands up. And get the one on the right out of the cage. Wait, Bobo, is that you? What the? Don't worry, Rex. I'm here to save you.